Hey everyone, it's Siberia, and uh, hello to everyone who watched Killer's Nacho vi Killer Nacho's video recently and subscribed to me. I have finally got a battle here. I'm actually going to give you something different. It is a third gen battle against Holy Wax 17. That's a guy I played on Showdown. And there is no team preview, so let's just get started. He's going to lead with Zapdos. I'm going to lead with Snorlax. I know he's not too much of a threat to me. I'm actually hoping I can get a Paralysis with the Body Slam so I don't have to take too much damage. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen, but at the same time, it looks like he doesn't really have anything he wants to switch into me. So he's going to end up dying to my Body Slam. And he's going to bring in this Clay Doll here. I'm worried he will just outspeed me and finish me off with Earthquake. So I bring in my Swampert. Instead he uses Protect, and then he goes for the Toxic, which misses, but it's not a big deal because I have Rest and Sleep Talk on my Swampert, and I can eventually threaten him out with Ice Beam. He goes for the Toxic again. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam again, and it looks like one more may kill him except he's just got Protect, so he's going to get some health back. At the same time, though, again, he really doesn't threaten me, even if he uses Toxic, so I'm going to stay in and Ice Beam again. Like I said, I do have the Rest Talk, which I think I'm going to go for... He no, I actually go for another Ice Beam, and he survives it. Unfortunately, he is faster, so he's going to get the rest off before I... Actually, I go for my own rest. I don't really know why I didn't go for Ice Beam there. Now I know he's going to be asleep, so I'm going to go out to my Gengar. I do not have Shadow Ball because it's a physical move this generation, not special. I do have Ice Punch, which will hit him well enough, but instead I go for the will o -Wisp predicting the switch... And he does switch to Jirachi. Unfortunately, I miss. And then I miss again as he takes me out with Psychic. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was thinking I could survive it. But I should have just gone out to Swampert, which I do now. And he said, I do have the rest talk, but I don't get an Ice Beam. So there is an Ice Beam. Unfortunately, it looks like it's just going to not do enough to three-hit KO him after Leftovers. And he's just going to do this annoying shit with Protect and get his health back. So at this point, he's going to Toxic me, and I'm just going to keep Ice Beaming because he still does not threaten me. Swampert's pretty much not going to die to anything this generation because Grass moves were really uncommon. So we're just going to go back and forth. He's eventually going to switch out to his Suicune. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. I don't get the Freeze, but this thing is really, really scary. I, In hindsight, I should have just gone out to Salamence and started Dragon Dancing on him, but I didn't know if he was going to have Ice Beam, so I go out to Jirachi instead. I figure we'll both start Calm Minding, and since I saw Substitute, he most likely does not have Sleep Talk. So I figure we'll both get to plus six, which is exactly what happens here. I'm just going to keep Calm Minding, and he's going to keep Calm Minding. I figure that since I have a super effective Thunderbolt, and he just has Surf as what looks to be his only attack, I'll most likely come out of this ahead, since again, I, I'm pretty sure that with Substitute, he cannot have Sleep Talk, or else he'd leave himself with no attacks. And seeing what Thunderbolt does here, 32%, when we're both at plus, I think that's plus 3, I think I can probably 3-hit KO him at plus 6. If not, I can do a fair amount. So I'm just going to keep boosting, and he's going to keep boosting. He gets, I get the Paralysis there, which ends up helping me later. But first, we each have, like, one more Calm Mind to get. So I am now at plus six, and he is now at plus six. Now we'll see how much damage we're doing to each other. He goes for protect, which, again, assures me he does not have... Well, that would mean he doesn't have rest or sleep talk. So in hindsight, what I should have done 
is stayed in with Jirachi until he either killed me or I killed him. Instead, I make a really risky and perhaps dumb move. I go out to Snorlax on what would have been most likely a protect. Instead, he gets paralyzed. I do not self-destruct here because I think he will protect now. I go for Body Slam, I get a crit, and I ultimately take him out with another Body Slam because he is paralyzed. Again, in hindsight, that was not the best move to make, but it worked out for me. So he's going to bring in Claydol. I still want to save Snorlax because it's going to be useful to blow something up later. And I know his Claydol carries Protect, so I don't want to self-destruct right there. I go back out to Swampert because he cannot hurt me. And he's going to bring in Raikou. The only reason he'd bring Raikou in on a Swampert is because he has HP Grass, but at the same time, I don't think I really need Swampert the rest of the match, so I'm just going to stay in and try to break his sub. He goes for another sub, and I am luckily... Actually, no, I do not sleep talk another Earthquake. I sleep talk a rest. And now he does go for the HP Grass. I've used up my two turns of sleep, though, so I'm going to get an Earthquake off. I'm going to break his sub. And now that I know he's not carrying HP Ice, I feel safe going out to Salamence on his HP Grass. And from here, I figure I should be able to set up a Dragon Dance. That'll probably be enough to take out the Clay Doll. If not, I can try to get another Dragon Dance while he protects. Instead, he goes for Thunderbolt and gets the Paralysis, which I guess makes up for my Jirachi paralyzing his Suicune. But at the same time, it's incredibly frustrating because that means my Salamence is useless for the rest of the match, so I'm just going to let it die. But I have gotten enough health back with Snorlax that I can survive his Thunderbolt and go for the Earthquake. At least that's what I... No, I, I don't do that at all. I actually predict him to switch back into Claydol and go for the Body Slam. And at this point, I know even if he Toxics me, I can eventually take him out either with Body Slam or Self-Destruct. I go for the Body Slam, I get a crit, and that does take out the Claydol. And the rest of his team at this point is the Jirachi, Alakazam, and Raikou. I'm pretty sure even if Snorlax dies, I can sweep the rest of his team with Choice Banded Earthquake from Aerodactyl. Instead, though, he survives my... I'm sorry, I survive his Psychic from Alakazam, I kill it with a Body Slam, I then survive a Thunderbolt from his Jirachi, and I... I'm sorry, from his Raikou, and then I kill that too, and it's just Jirachi against Snorlax. He goes for the Fire Punch. I don't know why he did that, because Psychic would have taken me out, but at the same time it doesn't matter, because I have Snorlax, which can kill Jirachi, I have Swampert, which can kill Jirachi, and I have this Aerodactyl, which can kill Jirachi. So I'm just going to bring it in. I know it outspeeds. I go for the Earthquake, I get the useless crit, and I do take out the Jirachi. So thanks for watching. Rate, comment, sub. Let me know if you want to see any other uh, previous gen battles, and I will try to accommodate that. But thank you for watching. Rate, comment, sub, and have a nice day. Bye.